Hi, welcome to the numeracy five a day answers for the 13th of May. So let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says, work out three quarters of 24. So to get three quarters of 24, we'll divide by the bottom and times by the top. So we'll do 24 divided by four. So that's gonna be six. And then we'll times that by the top, six times three would be equal to 18. So it's three quarters of 24 is 18. And our next question, a half of which number is equal to 24? So a half of a number that's equal to 24, we'll need to multiply 24 by two, we'll double it. So doubling 24 would be 48. So half of 48 is 24. Right, our next question. Our next question says, what fraction of the grid is shaded? Simplify your answer. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, we've got 10 squares there, and eight of them are shaded. So it's gonna be eight tenths. But it says give simplify your answer, so that would be simplifying it would be four fifths. So four fifths of this grid is shaded. Right, our next question. Our next question says, Max runs seven miles every morning. How many days will it take him to cover 441 miles? So if we divide 441 by seven, we'll find how many days it takes him to run that distance. So four divided by seven is zero, remainder four. 44 divided by seven, well, that's going to be equal to six. Seven is 42, so that's gonna be six, remainder two. And then 21 divided by seven would be three. So the answer would be 63 days. Right, our next question. Our next question, we've got a subtraction question. We've got 617, subtract 245. So lining them up in columns, seven take away five is two. One take away four we can't do, so we'll borrow from the six, we'll call that a five, and that'll be then 11. 11 take away four is seven, and five take away two is three. So the answer will be 372. Our next question is 740 divided by 20. So let's do our by shelter method, 740 divided by 20. So 20 into seven doesn't go, so that's zero, remainder seven. 20 into 74, well, that's 20, 40, 60, that's gonna be three, remainder 14. And 20 into 140, well, that would be seven, because seven for 20s would be 140. So the answer would be 37. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, shade in one more square to make a pattern with one line of symmetry. Now we're not gonna shade in this square here. If we shade it in this square here, the shape would have two lines of symmetry. It'd have a vertical one and a horizontal one. So I'm actually gonna shade in, I'm gonna shade in this square here. If I see a shade in this square, there'll only be a horizontal line of symmetry across here, like so. And that's it. Um, you could have shaded in other squares. You could have shaded in this square to the left and so on, okay?